defendant will argue that music file sharing should be legalized. To them, the crime is that anyone should spend their hard-earned money on a Clear Aiken album. The defense believes that music file sharing should remain a crime. They also believe that Motley Crue rocks. Now let's join the debate in progress. Real laws designed to punish individuals for illegally downloading digital music files. There's been a lot of debate in the music industry about people pirating music, especially with the commonness of CD recorders. However, we have specific evidence that shows. I would hate to do this for like a living, like be a lawyer and do that. Proof enough alone that you should vote for the affirmative. Opposition cross examination. Uh, we would like to take some of our prep time. The argument that numbers are inflated is not valid. Mm -hmm. This can't possibly be their entire argument. Therefore, the opposition's argument is whack. <laughs> Students at UNL, semester's end means one thing, finals. And for Tommy Lee, summa cum laude are words as foreign as summa cum laude. Big stuff today, right? Big stuff today. We've got the exam coming up. Make sure you are prepared for that, all right? Let's take a look at some calculations that we should be able to do. What's the frequency of the radiation from each source? Why don't you and the person next to you look at that? Help each other a little bit. Um, is anybody sitting next to you? I don't think so. Of course. <laughs> you can help the person next to you. That's great. I'll give you just a moment. It shouldn't take too many moments. Of our wavelength, when you multiply that by the frequencies, because this is nanometers, and that's 400 nanometers, so you're going to divide both sides, and that's going to be a lot. That's insane. <laughs> And here's the symbol for wavelength. Okay, folks, can I have your attention, please? Thank you. Okay, ready, go. We get a wave going. Very good. Did you see the wave go up and down? <laughs> Did it work? Next time, make sure you read the book before you come to class. Seven days and counting. It's time to get serious with Natalie. Serious about studying. Come on in. Hey, hey what's up? Natalie. What's up? We've been studying. Um, to be really honest with you, no. <laughs> I've got finals coming up here. I know. So what are you the most worried about? Uh, probably chemistry. Mm-hmm. Do you want do you want to focus on that right now? Sure. It's Saturday night, you know. We got yeah. plenty of time for Don't chemistry. Me. You have been reading, haven't you? No, I haven't. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah, it's awesome. You like doing this on Saturday night? Well, with you, yeah. <laughs> and the girl that was sitting next to me was helping explain it to me. Okay. Was this girl that was helping with class really cute or something? Yeah, she was kind of cute. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah. That's why we don't know what the teacher said. I didn't sit next to her on purpose. The seat was empty. She's like, can I sit there? <laughs> oh, great. I wasn't trying to distract myself. All right, first of all, I want you to read your English essay. 
Do what? The English essay oh, right here, the oh, 20 yeah. page uh -huh. one. Next thing, memorize 12 plants for horticulture. Okay. And then read the two chapters in chemistry. What? Uh, seven and eight. Seven and eight? I want you to do this tonight. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to see that, like, you've really put time into this. Got it. What are you doing tonight? I think I might be going out. Of course you are. <laughs> we'll see you later. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Natalie leaves her student alone. A ship without a rudder. Adrift on a sea of homework. Headed straight for the Bermuda Triangle that is finals week. Yeah, right. A mere six days remain till finals, and there's much left to learn. Formulas to master, plant names to memorize, and apparently a high score to beat. Ready? Whoa! <laughs> PlayStation 2, dude, is so rad. It's like wafer thin. I don't know. Stick that in your backpack, roll up the cables, boom. Bra, bra, bra. Bra, bra, bra. Do some card cracking. I got two pairs, dude. Hey, let's call Pamela. <laughs> uh, hey, we gotta call Naomi Campbell later. Yo! Yes! Oh, yeah. Let's. Hold on, we're calling her right now. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Naomi. What's up, baby? It's T. Lee, and uh, I'm here at the house of Lee, and they all wanted to say what's up. Say hi. I swear to God, you may be one of the finest black women ever to walk the face of this earth. <laughs> all right, call us back. Let's call Slash. Yeah. Captain Richard Lee. You call Snoop Dogg? Snoop! <laughs> What up, it's the big boss dog. Leave your name and number at the busy and I'll holler back like that, that, that there. Church priest tabernacle. <laughs> Later that night, Tommy and Matt prepare a hearty feast for their frat brothers. Like, well, let's shine the ground beef, let's do filet mignon. Ah. So what kind of task do we have in mind for the new guys? Some kind of ruckus over at the uh, art museum, bro. What do you think? Make, make our presence known on campus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to know. Make a name? They're going to know. At the stroke of midnight, the House of Lee Brotherhood band together for their first officially sanctioned frat prank. Got you. Go. Hold on, where's the camera? Hold on, hold on. Ready? We ain't got time for pictures. Oh, this is killer. Stick your feet up. Yeah. Huh. Got it. Stairs. What are we doing? What the heck? Come on. Go. Damn it. What are we doing? Retarded. Man, no, we did not. We're doing so Come on. Right here, guys. Nice. Okay, let's put it up. Hey, guys. What are we what doing? Heck? Come on. <laughs> Come
Tommy needs to be warned to, uh, this is enough. Uh, we don't do that here at Nebraska. Mr. Lee, all the stuff that we've talked about, and all of a sudden, some of the crap that you're pulling around here, the shenanigans that you're doing, it just can't happen here. You're gonna have to clean up your act if you're gonna spend any time here. We need some discipline out of you. You have got to get with the program if you're gonna stay here. But one of the things you're gonna have to do is listen. And I got an idea how we can make this happen. You gotta be really careful. No shortcuts here. Okay. It's gotta be right. Don't touch the grill though. Pop. Gotcha. Ooh, hot. You wanna stay, you gotta follow the rules. You got it. She doesn't have a hairnet on. Yes, yeah, she does. It's no, gray no. like her hair. Um, yeah. She does. Uh, yeah. And turkey. Oh, she does. She does. Uh, can I have uh, lettuce? Yeah. We don't play with the food. OK. But that's one of the reasons you're here, is because you weren't following rules. Gotcha. OK. Next. The ingredients on the plate, and not on the counter. Gotcha. Again, wheat bread. Wheat bread. You don't want the ends. You really have to step it up a notch here. All right. Swiss cheese? Yeah. That's Swiss, right? I think. No. Is this, I, think, I think that's Swiss. Is this Swiss? Doesn't yeah. Swiss have holes in it? Yes, sir. Do we need to label the ingredients, or are you going to get them figured out? Well, I don't know. Last time I checked, Swiss cheese had holes in it. Oh, no. Just, no holes, Swiss. Got it. You got us through lunch. All righty. Uh, it's a quarter if you keep the hair nap. All right. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thanks for doing your time. Thank you. Judgment Day is near in Nebraska. As the campus buzzes with nervous energy, Tommy races to beat the clock, literally. Mr. Lee, you were late, you for, were class. late for class. You were late, you were for, late class. for class. There's one chair up here, so I don't know. You guys can share it, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> if he misses half a discussion, I think that he's at a huge disadvantage. Mr. Lee. You were late for class. Mr. Lee. You were late for class. Mr. Lee. You were late for class. Put a envelope around. So the system of particles is defined by this imaginary boundary. So what happens now when I trigger this? What's going on here? They have individual velocities. That means that VCM vector is equal to a constant. Now we're done. OK, so the assignment for next class is I want you to go out and develop an experiment or demonstration that uses the ideas of conservation of momentum that we've been talking about today. I look forward to your results, and I thank you for your attention. We're done. I have a real good idea of what I'm going to do for my assignment. Hoping to dazzle Dr. Gay with his physics project, Tommy enlists the help of his roommate slash campus Einstein, Nat Ellis. We're going to need some cutting tools. Yes, absolutely. Got it. Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Good stuff. You grab these. You can never have enough hose. Yeah. Two. Two sounds good. Oh, that help. should work, right? So what do you plan on doing with all this stuff? Um, we're, we have a, 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 a physics a physics project that's about uh, physics. Yeah, some of us are decoration. Physics. Killer. Killer. Dude. And so they toiled long into the cold dark night, assembling a large apparatus that does something. Killer. Something, somehow, and in some way related to physics. Dr. Gay. Hmm? 
please allow me to introduce the eight chamber multi-esophageal rehydration mechanism. Stand back. How much water are we gonna get on the floor here? Okay. That was really very strange. I was positive. How are we demonstrating conservation of momentum here? Well, okay, the conservation of momentum is by all the football team, instead of going all over the place, they all get together in almost a huddle fashion, right? Yeah. And all take a drink off it at the same time. Yeah. The, the coach can talk to them while they're here. Whoa. Uh-huh. So they're resting, they're conserving momentum. Y yeah, but what I was looking for more was sort of involving a collision of some kind, some sort of big whack, whack, big whack, 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 big whack, 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 big whack, or something along those lines. This is just, it's a, it's a sports drink delivery device. I was extremely impressed with the uh, detail and the uh, craftsmanship that went into this, but it didn't really pertain to the assignment. It's not really demonstrating the kind of conservation of momentum we talked about in class. You know, I, I think I've got to give you a C on this. Oh, man. I'm, I am overwhelmed right now. Um, just everything that's going on. Let's see. Hmm. All right. But we'll get through it. I'm a professional. His heart broken by the big C, Tommy leaves physics for chemistry class and some comfort from his new study buddy, Bridget. Today, we're going to talk a lot about how atoms stick together. Atoms are stuck to each other all over the place. I want you to look at the person next to you. Anytime you have a bond, the person sitting next to you takes it in their body. We're so intimate. Everything is connected to everything. Now, is energy involved? Definitely energy is involved. Talk to the person next to you if you want to show them yours. As they get a little closer together, a little closer together, they get so close together, energy is released. Take a deep breath now. You still feel attracted. Now, we'll talk about this in more detail on Monday. Have a good weekend. We'll have to get together and study. Excellent. The frequency is the number of cycles the wave undergoes per second. So crazy. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to sit next to you and cheat the whole time. I won't tell. OK. <laughs> so this actually hey, equals hey. that. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Sit down. Help us out here. <laughs> hmm. Are you in the class? And this would be cool for you, too, like, mm -hmm. as long as your hair, like, uh -huh. be 100% honest with me. Have you been looking at this at all? Honestly, no. But I told yeah. him, I, I said, a, yeah. week's, a week's plenty of time. It's not too late. I've got to be honest, you've got to get down on this. So I'm going to go ahead. This other stuff, I kind of went over it once what, before. What's what? Concept stuff. Mm -hmm. like, that's kind of like a guy that sees a girl walking down the street, or like a guy's at a bar, and he's like, whoa, she's hot, and he's drawn to her. It's like he's throwing his electron at her. A more Should like we do, um, relevant one would be if you actually use the speed of light given. Tommy, elect have you guys talked about electrons? Yes. We didn't really get much done because it was so hard to like keep his attention or figure out what we were doing when two people were talking. I almost think it'd be more beneficial. These electrons are these little negatively it, charged things that fly hard. around the nucleus. And here really you're not gonna get a constant. This is supposedly not in a vacuum. And oh, it's it's it. Those two things to together to, to get the speed metals and non-metals. Here it's talking about but the wave nature of light. You'll be given mm -hmm. like this number. No but the problem. wavelength is the distance like between two corresponding you know. points. Now, do you know how to solve for if you're just trying to find, like, let's say the frequency? No. I leave uh, Natalie and Bridget by, and I don't. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry, because I didn't get anything. The twin tutor attack has Tommy's brain in a tangle. 
And with finals barely four days away, the pressure to succeed has begun to overwhelm our rock star student. Will he pass? Will he fail? Pull your pants up, will you? Will he disappoint his mommy? Come back next week for the shocking conclusion of Tommy Lee Goes to College. Some of the music in this episode is available on Tommyland the Ride in stores now. <laughs>